Okay, so in this video we're going to make a bouncing ball with uh, no vectors, without using vectors, and it corresponds to the example 1.1 of Daniel Schiffman's Nature of Code. And then we're going to use, in the next video, we're going to use that to think about how to uh, organize for efficiency when we make more com complicated components. And so um, basically what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a, a bouncing ball in this quadrant right here. And so uh, it's going to go until it reaches the upper bounds and then it's going to change direction. So for every moment in time we want to uh, we want to change its location by a certain speed and then um, if it's uh, touching one of the, the borders we're going to have it change direction so it stays within this quadrant right here. So we need to import run a script syntax as rs and in this example we're not going to use a class we're just going to use um, uh, global variables to uh, to keep track of its locations we're just going to have an x and a y it's only going to be 2d and then uh, so we're going to start it out at 50 50 and then we need also x speed have that as one we're going to need a y speed have that as three, and uh, we're going to need some kind of uh, upper bounds, so some kind of border that we know that if it goes beyond that, that, that means we need to change direction. So basically, we're kind of it's like building a wall. Upper bounds, and we're going to have that at 90. And then now we can address our time. We need 4t in range time. And so uh, this is basically the same kind of format we're going to use that we used in our walker example. So what we need to do is, there's two things we need to do. We need to move our point or, and, you know, by, by changing the, these, and then we need to check for the border. And if it's over a border, we need to change direction. So y equals plus equals x speed and or x equals plus uh, x speed and so y equals plus y speed and now we're going to check for the border so if x is less than 0 or x is greater than upper bounds we're going to change the direction of our speed. So our speed, x speed, and we're going to do that by multiplying it by negative 1. And so this right here is the same as this right here except with the mul multiplication. So now that we've done that with the x, we're just going to copy and paste it for the y. And we're going to switch out the x for y. And so once it goes through all that, we are going to um, pass out where it is. So we're going to say a uh, equals, we're going to create a, a sphere, rs add sphere. And for a sphere, we need a center or plane and a radius. So for our center, we're going to um, say x, y, and 0. And I guess this needs to be inside of a list. So that's going to be the center point. And uh, we're just going to have 0 in the z direction. And then we need a radius. And we're going to just use radius 10. And we need uh, our time. And this is going to be an integer. So now we can create slider. Um, OK, so I forgot to put the 
Um, again, I'm looking down here to see where the, the error is, and I forgot to put that print on. So we see where it is at in time 200. And so you can see it's bouncing around. Okay, so that's uh, that's our bouncing ball, and um, I suppose I can uh, go ahead and uh, bring in counter. Uh, this is from uh, the Python uh, or the Kangaroo component um, by Daniel uh, Piker, and uh, so we use a counter and a timer and we need a boolean toggle to reset it so let's bring a panel so I can show you what it does and instead of doing um, we can change the the speed of our timer instead of updating every second we're gonna go uh, 20 milliseconds so you can see that uh, what it's doing basically is it's starting at zero and then every 20 milliseconds it's uh, incrementing so reset is true so it's reset we set this to false and it goes goes ahead and, and uh, moves so let's plug that in to time so now we have our bouncing ball over here and uh, I'll, uh, so that'll cover this video and then in the next I'll cover uh, organization.